Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for AwesomeCast.net on this um, April 8th, 2015. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter if you want to get at me with any thoughts and at, and, uh, at AwesomeCast uh, as well for the show. So, uh, you know, this is an interest, interesting story. Uh, April Fool's is just under a week past us and uh, still some stuff resonating. The Verge had a really interesting article I was uh, discovering over coffee this morning. And, uh, you know, I'm a geek. You know, our friends over at insertcointobegin.com. And uh, I this, this catches my interest anytime there's a new way to play my old games. Um, and according to The Verge, the smart boy turns an iPhone 6 Plus into a working Game Boy. And I don't have an iPhone 6 Plus. I I don't know you know i have know a couple people to do they're very nice but this is kind of cool so what it is it looks like they took a game boy and they molded it around and it looks like your uh, iphone slides into it and you get to play game boy games and presumably the buttons are responsive in such a way they will match up on the screen and be reactive to it um so i think that's a really cool idea now they're saying that this did it wasn't an april fool's joke it's kind of presumably it looks like exactly what it could you know it looks like it could be a an april fool's joke uh, but it seems that the uh, accessory manufacturer Hyperkin had it uh, posted on their Facebook page and described it as an upcoming hardware that will uh, clip in the plus and play Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges on the screen. Now, I wonder if this, it's actually taking the... Oh, it must be actually taking the cartridges and, like, there's some app or something that's pushing it through. So this isn't an emulator, guys. I can take my old copy of Yoshi's Cookie and play it on this thing. Okay, now you have my attention, and I might be upgrading to a Plus next uh, go around on the iPhone uh, with my, you know, high 5S with people on Meerkat joining me this morning. Uh, but uh, they said, uh, it, you know, they said they leaked it with the initial intent of testing the market, seeing whether or not it should be uh, something we'd actually make under the guise of an April Fool's joke. Isn't that interesting? You know, this is something that um, um, Think Geek does all the time. They'll put out a product quote unquote and uh on april fools see what the response is and if it's something that they can actually make like uh, i and not, nothing oh the um the tauntaun sleeping bag for instance was one of them um and that became a product and apparently wildly successful for them as well so now this becomes like kind of a new kickstarter because kickstarter well yeah it gets funding but it also tests the market to say is this something that people want and in that case, there's a lot of engagement of, okay, do you want it so bad that you're going to give me money for this thing in advance? Or, you know, can we put this out on April Fool's? Something hits on April Fool's, it gets on something like TheVerge.com or Engadget or something like that. It becomes a story. Now people are like, man, I really wish they made that. And they're like, hey, we're really making it. And now you've, it's an ingenious way to kind of use the holiday in your favor as a tech software, whatever company, you know, uh, ideally, and more I think about this, maybe this is something I should use. Maybe I should uh, use April Fool's Day to start a new show, <laughs> test pilot a new show. We actually had fun with it and we said, oh, we'll fix it in post. We made kind of a joke show commercial out of it. Uh, last year or the year before uh, but that, that's an interesting way you do it one day you do it on april fool see what happens and they're like no actually you should do that and there's a lot of people that says actually i'd love that i would watch that i would i'd buy that i would listen to it i would i would uh consume that site whatever the case may be uh so i really like this concept and and and, and the problem is we have to remember it like you know going into april fools every year and i've been really bad about getting that holiday alignment of my services lately um but anyways enough of that let, let me know what do you think about the smart boy and uh using april fools as kind of a product testing sort of cycle situation depending on your product uh do you feel like that's a, a pretty novel way of doing it or uh, or, or, or whatnot let me know at sorgatron on the twitter comments to this video or blog post at awesomecast.net and, uh, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, join us this week for Awesome Cast. So we're taping it this evening on April 8th. Or afterwards, you can check it out on the podcast stream. Our friend Papa Lunchbox joins us. Will Rutherford. He's taken a month off of social media, guys. Gone on hiatus, trying to clear his brain, be a little more mindful. And we're going to talk with him about that experience and how it is coming back to it. And, of course, we'll check out his web series, Sawtooth Willie. Over at SorgatronMedia.com or just look up Sawtooth Willie, you'll find the series. We got seven episodes out, including one where he's answering Twitter questions. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com. 
Bet.com.